Hi, it's Susan Short with Siesta Key TV, and we are here today at the fabulous Duncan McClellan Gallery in St. Petersburg, Florida. Stay tuned and let's check it out. Duncan, what a phenomenal place you have here. This gallery space is just outrageous, filled with the most stunning art glass. I understand you have over a hundred art glass artists here. How did you get started? Well, um, my initial interest in glass came from just observing what other artists were doing. And then I became so fascinated that I wanted to learn. Unfortunately, there was no place to study in the state of Florida, so I was uh, going to New York to study. And after a few years of going up there and going to Italy to study, uh, I was able to rent space here in St. Pete from somebody that did open a studio. And I rented there for about 20 years until I purchased this tomato packing plant and turned it into a gallery and a hot shop. It's fantastic. How big is it? It seems massive. Uh, it's 7,800 square feet. Okay. Um, we pack a lot in that space. You do, <laughs> yes, for sure. So tell us about some of the artists, and then I also want to know about your educational outreach program. Oh, well, thanks. Yeah. Um, the artists uh, are from all over the world. They're internationally known uh, for the most part, uh, uh, most of our artists. They're in multiple museum collections. I'm very proud to be associated with them. We also um, bring in emerging artists as well Great. through our DMG School Project. So tell us about that project. That was started uh, as an outgrowth of uh, starting the gallery, knowing that there needed to be education both uh, for the general public, but particularly for children. Yeah. Um, and one of the things that we do, we have a mobile unit that goes out to schools, typically disadvantaged schools, and uh, we teach about 400 kids in a day. Wow. And we're not teaching them how to blow glass. We're using glass to show them how an artist uses uh, chemistry to create the colors, uses geometry to create the, the forms or the shapes, uh, uses algebra to figure out how much to sell it for. Uh, so these are all factors that we're hoping that the children get the aha moment mm -hmm. uh, that what they're realizing that they're studying has real life application. We needed a sculpture garden for the gallery. Yes. And um, I integrated the uh, sculptures into the plant life. It's fabulous. Thank you. It really is fabulous. So, you know, what about when it rains occasionally? Is everything okay to get rained on? No sure, problem. glass is well, quite uh, durable. Glass is and, very durable. Uh, and so are our sculptures. Yeah. Uh, they're made to be, it can be outside. Which for is many wonderful. years, I did outdoor shows great and so i was subject to the weather almost every weekend uh -huh. and um glass is a very durable material so if one wanted to have their own sculpture garden with glass that's a possibility can make it. you can make it right <laughs> do you do any kind of environmental design is could somebody commission you all for environmental oh design? sure uh, one of the things that uh not only do we want to create sculpture for them but we also want to help them create the, the environment around that sculpture. Right. Uh, so I can make recommendations on what type of plants to use in a given situation um, based on what I've gained in knowledge over the years. Plus my uh, first assistant, Eric Claycomb, is an incredible landscaper. 
So I've learned a lot from him. I'm sure. So now as far as events are concerned, they contact you for events. How many people can this hold? Um, uh, typically up to about 125 to okay. 150 in the outdoor space. Um, and uh, we do everything from corporate events, uh, charity events, weddings in particular. Um, and all the proceeds go to DMG School Project, our 501c3. That's fantastic. So do you do your own event, your own gala event? Oh, yes, uh, we do events uh, every second every Saturday. Saturday yeah. And then we have private uh, patron events uh, okay. from our, uh, for our supporters that support DMG School Project or our gallery patrons. And how does one find out about that? Um, well, you become a patron by buying artwork. I got it. Uh, and okay. then you get invited to our private uh, patrons party. Is there some uh, sort of newsletter people could subscribe sure. to? Yeah. Uh, we, we'd like invite everyone to sign up on our website. Okay. Um, and uh, you'll get announcements every month of the artists we're bringing in, some of the other events that are available. Um, and uh, it's a lot of fun. So Sounds please sign great. up on our website. I definitely will. Well, thanks so much for chatting with us today. Thanks for joining us today on FBTV. Make sure to follow us on Facebook and check out the website, familybeautiful.com. We'll see you soon.